That's a shame. I don't know how to read this thing. Where does it have to run to? Does it have to run through? I'm coming off this room.
Good morning, Marvin. Good morning, good morning. How you doing, Harvey? Baruch Hashem. How are you? It's a lovely, lovely rainy day. Oh, is it raining out? <laughs> Manish Tana. <laughs> right. And, and now for the next couple of days. Oh, yeah. Well, we've been fortunate, so I can't complain. You know, we've had rain, but we really haven't had, quote, storms. No, it was pretty windy, windy today, last night. Did it was last night. What happened last night? I didn't hear you. Very windy. Oh, it was windy yesterday also. Yeah. It was okay. Can't complain. Thank you. Can't do anything about it anyway. Right. Take what we get. Oh, well. What time is it? Oh, 8.20. Why are they so late now? You don't have that much. I don't know. What do they do extra today? No. I don't know. Marvin. Yeah. When it rains, what do they do with the minions? What do they do with them? If they can't do it in the parking lot, you know, what, what, like shop it. Which, which minion are you talking about? Uh, the Wolverton or Yarmouth, whoever is that, you know, they're in the parking yeah. lot. We, we don't have an outdoor minion. We're supposed to start a, 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 no, a roof. We don't have an outdoor minion on, uh, during the week. Ah, that's why. Um, well, what about Monte Shabbos? Last night, I don't know. I guess when it rains, they don't, they don't have, nobody comes. Oh. Nobody comes. Yeah. Well, I, didn't go, I didn't go there last night for Minicha. Uh-huh. So we, have a, we have an alternative. When it, if we're in the parking lot, and if it rains, we move it on to one of the uh, hmm, walkways. Network. Yeah. In one of the buildings. Automatically. Uh -huh. We line it up uh, for uh, five or six apartments that are empty. No one's there and on the first floor, and we made it. We make it there. We just right. line it up. Yeah, by us, it's uh, we have people that walk over from 
from A and, and, and from C and from D uh, over to B. So if it's raining, they don't, they don't. Usually, don't usually come. Yeah. People, I, I hate to say it, uh, with this pandemic, uh, davening has become lazy. <laughs> it's, become, you know, it's become, yeah. It's, I don't want to, you know, they go back to shul and the shul opens up. The people go, oh, yeah, I'm not walking to shul. I'll just dive in here. I'll dive in home. Leave me alone. That's the problem. All right. I'm, I'm very skeptical about the, about certifying the air quality in the shul since the demolition. Oh, I. I and that, and that's what I'm pushing for at the next, at the board meeting this Thursday. That there should be testing of that air quality as the people come in now to know anybody who, I mean, there are people that have, who knows, that have asthma, that this and right. that, that lung, lung right. questions, they should not be, if it depends on what the test shows, but it should be well, done before they do anything else. Why do you think it's affecting the uh, air quality? Because, in the of, the, because of, the, of the demolition, the air, air in the air. They leave the door open in the front by the, uh, oh, by the, oh, so it by opens, the sukkah. The, door, the doors are open, so oh, yeah. I understand. Yeah, it's 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 very questionable. I brought mm. this up with uh, with Jonas, and uh, you yeah, know, look into it. Yes, and Friday I brought it up with uh, with Pacey, who's supposed to be appointed to a committee talking about improving the air quality and the uh, uh, the air the air conditioning system, etc. And I said, this is a this is a major thing. Before you start calling about doing improving the air condition, he says, let's test it and see how it is. Mm. What, we're, what we're dealing with. Until then, I won't go to school. And they, I, I surely won't let me go. <laughs> because when I get when I catch a cough, I get bronchitis right away. No. Oh. And surely when she gets a cough, she gets she gets pneumonia. No, She's had pneumonia really? three times. So you really have to watch out, you know, you, you know the so situation, right? We just decided to stay home, that's it. That's it. I have not been in shul since February. Oh, no, I I, I, been, I was there two weeks ago or so, it was, I felt mm -hmm. it was, but I just want to know now since that demolition. The air quality around the shul is changing. Yeah, everything, everything, yeah. it's, it's all connected. They say they say leaving up leaving the door open in the front and leaving one in the back it, it increases circulation sure it increases but you know what you're circulating huh. I don't know what we're circulating could be bringing poison into the show I don't know yeah. God forbid morning gentlemen good morning Robert good morning, morning Bob good morning buddy good morning Robert Ooh, Rabbi Green ah, good morning Rabbi. Rabbi good morning Ken hook up your show William we don't hear you yet. No, he's first checking. Not yet. There he is. Nope, not yet. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Rabbi. Good morning. How are we doing? All right? It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> it's pouring, but the old man ain't snoring. That's no, no, no snoring today. Okay. At least it's dry in here. That's good. Woo, very windy. Woo. Yeah, it is not the day to go out today if you don't no. have to. Surely might have to make your breakfast then. I think so. <laughs> well, she's still sleeping. <laughs> okay. You have to make your own, that's all. That's all right. I let her sleep because on our, it's our anniversary today, so I let her sleep for our anniversary. Oh, Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. Mm. <clears throat> sure, if it weren't bad weather, you'd tell her you could take get takeout from the new kosher restaurant. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if anybody's eaten over there yet, but Harvey, do you know? Or the new one? Uh, it just opened up on Thursday. Yeah. 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 Is that roadside? 
Yeah, roadside. That's the one. <laughs> it just strikes me funny that the name is roadside because it's better than that. They may call it roadkill, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, okay. We'll wait another moment or two. And we're going to start uh, with our uh, sponsors, and then we'll uh, try to pick up some place appropriate for the Gemara this morning. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, sponsors, a year of learning, Dr. Paul Konigsberg, in memory of his brother, Dr. Sam Konigsberg, Shimon Rubin Ben Leibish, and Ed Goldberg's cousin, Nissen Hara, Nissen Ben Fardosa. Paul and Bob Bromberg, in memory of their dear friend, Julian Smith, Yehuda Ben Yisrael. Welcome Mann, in memory of her family murdered in the Holocaust. Rav Tzvi Hirsch Ben Shlomo Yaakov, Sarah Bat Ephraim, Yisrael David ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Ephraim ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Adia bat Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Miriam bat Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Pesel bat Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Shalom ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Shalom Yaakov ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Shmuel ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch. The many friends of Dr. Marvin Blush, Moshe Shalom ben Yitzka Kalevi, friends of Toby Paris, Sarah Tova Bat Yisrael Do. Friends of Malka Levi, Malka Bat Yosef. Friends of Avi Hitler, Avramea Ben Shimon. Sarah Shur, her children and grandchildren. In memory of her uncle, founding member of BRS, Dr. Israel Brook, Yisrael Ben Harav Akiva. Marsha Federbush and family. In memory of her husband, Dr. Oriel Paul Federbush, Oriel Ben Harav Shimon. A month of learning sponsored by Charlie Gelfenstein in memory of his mother, Dasya Gittelbrat, Mayor Halevi, and his father, Mayor Ben Yaakov. Also, a month of learning by Gila and Harold Salzman in memory of her mother, Eti Bat Yitzchak Elchini. We also have a week of learning by Esther Slashowski in memory of her son, Gershon ben Yaman ben Harav Abraham, and by Anne Radola Klar, in memory of her husband, Mordechai ben Svi Zaev. Also, today is the eighth. We have a day of learning by Marsha Federbush, in memory of her mother-in-law, Tova Miriam Bat Yehoshua. And Shem is having Aliyah, Krenk Rachia, Velti Yashir Hashem Matriah, and Lechol Bnei Yisrael, a good gebenched yard. Amen. Okay. Okay. I'm hoping that uh, the other fellows will be getting on shortly. Okay. I'm going to have us pick up actually towards the bottom of Tzadi Amud Bays. <laughs> okay. There, I think that that uh, would be appropriate. Okay, um, where the Gemara picks up uh, this discussion of the machloket between Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Shimon and the uh, Chachamim. Okay, so it's about uh, three lines from the bottom on Sari Amud Bay. Amar okay. Rav Yehuda says Rav Yehuda the following: Kesher Timtzel Omar the Divrei Rabbi Meir says according to when you find the view of Rabbi Meir, okay, Gagin Rishut LaAtzman, Chatzerot Rishut LaAtzman, Karpefeot Rish, right Rishut LaAtzman, okay, that it could Rabbi Meir's view is that roofs are one, let's say, domain, a separate domain. Courtyards are a separate domain, one to their own selves. And uh, we'll call Kapafios the empty spaces, empty lots, things like that, open spaces, are a domain unto themselves. 
Okay, so the implication would be that uh, uh, you could have two empty lots, one next to each other, owned by different people, but since they're same kind of domain, okay, they one could carry from one car puff to another. Okay, so that is the initial uh, point. Whereas Rabbi Mayer would say carrying from a courtyard to a car puff or car puff to a courtyard to a roof is not okay, is prohibited, even when it belongs to the same person. Okay, welcome. Right, on top of Tzadi Aleph Amud Aleph, today's daf. The Devrei Chachamim, according to the view of the sages, Gagin v'chatzerot chrishut echad, that the roofs and courtyards are, a, let's call them the same or similar domains, okay? That uh, even again, if they're owned by different people, you could carry from one to another. Karpafeyot rishut echad But the karpaf, However, that's a separate domain. Okay, right? Even when they're, and especially even if they're owned by the same person, they're still separate domain. Okay. The Divrei Rabbi Shimon, according to the view of Rabbi Shimon, Kulan Rashud Echati, they're all a single domain. Okay, so one could carry from, uh, the uh, field to the chatzer, to the courtyard, and then up to the roof. The roof. Okay? And even if they're owned again by different people. Okay? So that's the point. Okay. Now, what happens further? We're now going to have Brighton. Tanya Kavate de Ra. There is a brighter that supports the view of Ra. Okay. Namely, Tanya de Galate de Rav Yehuda. And there is also a brighter that supports the view of Rabbi Yehuda. Tanya Kavate de Rav, a brighter supporting the view of Ra. Kol Gagot Ha'ir Rishud Echatim. That all of the roofs of the city, okay, are a single domain. Vasur la ha'alot will ha'orid men ha'gagin lechatzer, but it is prohibited to bring up or to lower, take down from, okay, uh, the roofs to the courtyard. Umen ha'chatzer legagin, or from the courtyard okay. to the roofs. V'kelim sheshavtu b'chatzer, and those utensils that uh, spent their, let's say, were stored over Shabbos in the courtyard, mutar letaltalan b'chatzer. It's permitted to carry them around in the courtyard. Begagim, those that were stored again on the roofs, mutar letaltalan begagim. It's permitted to carry them around on the roofs. Ubilvad shelo yehe gag gavoa asara onamu asara divre rabbi meir. So long as if we're not doing it vis a vis one roof that is tent fachim higher than the others or tent fachim lower than the others. This is the view of rabbi meir. Okay. Now going on, says the Gemara. The Chachamim Amrim. But the sages, however, okay, say a different view, namely, Kol Echad Ve'echad Rishut La'atzmo. Each roof is its own domain. Ve'en metaltalin bo ele ba'arba. And one cannot carry on that, let's say, domain in that area for any more than Dalit Amos. That's the point. Okay. Now, what happens? We now get to the next part of the uh, Gemara. Another brighter. 
Tanya Kavate the Rav Yehuda. And we have a Brighton that supports the view of Rav Yehuda. Amar Rebbe says Rebbe in the name of Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi. Keshehayinu lomdim Torah, Eitzel Rabbi Shimon Betekoli. When we used to be in the academy of Rabbi Shimo in the city of Tekoa, okay? Hainu ma'alin shemen va'alonatit migag legag. That we used to carry up oil and bath towels, okay? From one roof to another roof. Umigag lechatzer. And from one roof to a courtyard. Umichatzer lechatzer. And from one courtyard to another courtyard. Umechatzer <clears> lekarpaf. <throat> and from one courtyard to a empty lot or a space, field. Umikarpaf lekarpaf. Acher. And from one uh, lot or empty space, field to another, right? Ad shahainu magi'in eitzel hama'ayan until we reach the spring, shahainu rochtzin bo, that we used to bathe in. Okay? So this uh, testimony, let's call it for the moment, by Rebbe, okay, shows that Rebbe Shimon held, okay, that view, right, that they were all a single domain. Now, Amar Rabbi Yehuda. So Rabbi Yehuda now, Continues with the rest of this writing. Maaseh b'sha'a hasakana. There was once a situation, an incident, during a time of sakana. Okay, we usually understand that to mean a time of danger when there were persecutions. Okay. Ma'alin sefer Torah michatzer lagag. That they actually brought a sefer Torah from one place, namely, that was... Uh, took it out of a house, okay, and uh, through the courtyard up onto the roof, umigag lechatzer, and from the roof to another courtyard, umichatzer lekapav, and from the, the courtyard to a open space in order to bring it to the, let's assume the synagogue, because oftentimes the synagogue was on the outskirts of the town, the Krotbo, in order to read from it, okay? So this would again be another attempt to prove that there are all uh, single domains, the same domain. Amrulo, but other sages said to him, okay? And, uh, right? Namely, Ain Hasakana Ra'aya. Okay, that uh, an example taken during a time of uh, persecution is not a valid proof text. In other words, that's Yotze Dolphin, that's out of the ordinary. Now, we come back to another brighter, uh, not actually a brighter, but another statement, citing the view of Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Shimon Omer Echad Gagin Vechule, okay, from our Mishnah. That Rabbi Shimon says, okay, that roofs and katseras and karpovs are all the same domain, right? So long as the item be was stored there from the beginning of Shabbos. What happened? Amar Rav says, Rav, halacha ke Rabbi Shimon. That the law follows Rabbi Shimon, okay? And therefore one could carry these things through all of these locations. But it's a situation where they did not make an Erev Chatzeris, that those they did not join in an Erev in their own Chatzer, for example. Aval Ervu, but if they joined in their own Erev Chatzeris, lo. No, we cannot uh, allow them to carry in those through all those three areas. Why? The Gazrinan Dilma Ate La Afuke Mane the Batim Lachatzer. Because we make a decree lest it come that people take out utensils from their homes into the courtyard. 
Okay? And since we're saying that those items that began Shabbat in the house, they cannot be carried into the courtyard on Shabbat. Ushmuel Amar, Bein Irvo, Bein Shalo Irvo. And Shmuel said, regardless of whether they joined in a uh, Eruv Chatzeros or not, okay, what is Shmuel therefore saying, okay, that it would be permitted, okay, to carry them in those areas based on the view of Rabbi Shimon. V'chein Amar Rabbi Yochanan. And likewise, since Rabbi Yochanan said the same thing, Okay, he said, Mich lechashcha, ben irvo, ben shalo irvo. Rabbi Yochanan referring to Shmuel's decision. Uh, okay, on what basis was somebody, so to speak, whispered? Did they tell you that it was regardless of whether they did a Erev Chatzeros or not? Mad kifla Rav Chista. But Rav Chista challenges this, right? The Shmuel of the Rabbi Yochanan, regarding what Rabbi, what Shmuel and Rabbi Yochanan said, okay, namely in that case, Yomru Shne Kelim Bechatzer Achat, Zemutar Veze Asur. Is it possible that they would say that if you have two different utensils in one courtyard, that one is permitted to be carried elsewhere? And another one is prohibited from carry, being carried elsewhere. Rabbi Shimon Latame. And we say that Rabbi Shimon, right, follows his own view. De Logazar, that they didn't make a decree. The Tanan is taught elsewhere in another Mishnah. Ama Rabbi Shimon, says Rabbi Shimon. What is it common? What does it seem parallel to? To a situation where we studied this Mishnah and we saw there was a machloket between Rabbanan and Rabbi Shimon where we had three courtyards, one in the middle, two on either side. Okay. And what happens? The, each of the outer courtyards opened into the inner courtyard, as well as opening into the public domain. Okay, the shalosh katsay wrote, ha p'tuchot zo lezo, u p'tuchot l'vishut rabin And they also opened to the public domain. Ve'ervu shte ha'chitzonot. And the two outer courtyards made an eruv katsay wrote, with the one in the middle. Therefore, the one in the middle, they can carry, residents there can carry, I'm going to say, to either of the outer two courtyards. And each of the outer two courtyards may carry from theirs into the middle. However, Okay, we're going to see in a moment. However, I'm saying the two outer courtyards, Asurim Zo Imzo, are prohibited to carry from one to another. Velo Gazar, and they did not make a decree. Dilma Ate La Afuke, Mani Daha Chatser, Laha Chatser. And the red, there was no decree made prohibiting carrying from one outer courtyard utensils to another outer, outer courtyard. Hachanami, here too, <coughs> he's saying, lo gazrina, don't make a decree, dilma ate la'afuke mani debatim l'chatzer, to make a prohibition, prohibiting them to carry utensils from the house into the courtyard. Now, Metiv Rav Sheshit. Rav Sheshit, however, challenges and questions this. And he says the following. Rabbi Shimon Omer, Echad Gagot, Echad Chatserot, Vechad According to Rabbi Shimon, 
he says that there is a same domain, a single domain regarding roofs, regarding courtyards, and regarding empty lots. Vishut echad hain lakelim sheshavtu betochad. That they are a single domain regarding utensils that spent Shabbat, in other words, before Friday night, okay, from Friday night into Shabbat, that they were there in those locations. Velo lekelim sheshavtu betochabayit. Right, but not for utensils that spent their Shabbos, okay, inside the house. Yes. Now, e amrat, if you're going to say, bishlema de irvu, that the residents of that courtyard made their own eruv chatzeros, hainu de mishkachat la mani de batim bechatzer. Here, then, we would find that there would be utensils from the house in, in the courtyard. Okay. Why? Because if they made an Eru, they can carry from the house into the courtyard. Okay. Ela, i amrat b'shalo Eru. But if you're saying that they did not make an Eru chatzer, how then would it be possible to say that there might be utensils from the house found in the courtyard. He raised the question and he answered it. The kumta vasudra, namely, you have items like caps or scarves that the people may have worn initially outside from their house into the courtyard. And for some reason, they may have removed them while they were in the courtyard, okay? And therefore, that's why we need that, that issue of the Xera, okay? okay? That's why we say that it's forbidden to remove items from the house yes. into yes. the courtyard, as Rabbi Shimon was indicating. Now, let's go over to a new bright. Okay? On top of Tzadi Aleph Amud Bey. Right. We're still trying to come back again with further proof of Rav's position, okay, that the Rabbi Shimon li limited, I'm going to say, this common uh, domain issue to the three places only where they did not do a error. Okay? Tashman. Listen to the following point. Anshe chatzer va'anshe mirpesa. Okay? Those who lived, I'm going to say, right off the courtyard. Va'anshe mirpesa. And those who lived right off the gallery, the porch, the second floor. Okay? Sheshachachu. Hello, everyone. And they forgot, and the two of those first and second floor, I'm going to call them residents, did not join for an evening. Okay? The bright that tells us, kol shegavoa asirat vachim, any item that's in the courtyard that could be ten vachim tall, could be a pillar, could be a mound, right? Whatever. Okay? La Mirpesah, it's accessible for carrying for those people only on the second floor who live off the porch, the gallery. Pachot Mikan, if it's lower than 10th Fachim, it's accessible only to those who live off the courtyard. Vamed Varim Amurim, what are we talking about? Shahayu Elu shall rabim, the elu shall rabim. And it's a situation where there are multiple residents off the courtyard and multiple <laughs> residents <laughs> off the porch or the second floor. Ve'irvu elu la'atzman, ve'elu la'atzman. And those living off the porch 
made their own Eru, the, the multiple residents, and those living off the courtyard made their own Eru, those multiple residents. Oh, or perhaps a situation where Shel Yechidim, that there was only one person, one residence off the porch, and one resident off the courtyard, She'ein Tzrichim La'arein, where we say, therefore, they do not need to require to have an Eru. Aval Hayu Shel Rabim V'Shachachu, but if there were multiple residents, the low irvu, and they did not join, gag v'chatser v'achsadra umir peser. Okay? Namely, says this writer, when they didn't join in the eru, the roof and the courtyard, v'achsadra and the portico, okay, umir peser, and the porch, kulan reshut echatim, they're all to be considered a single domain. Tama de lo irvu. The reason being that they did not make a eruv chatserot, okay, for each separate area. Ha irvu. But if they did make their own eruv chatserot, lo, then they are not considered all one domain. Ha mani, according to whom then is that? Rabbananhi. That's according to the view of the rabbis. Furthermore, says the text, daikanami, the language, we can deduce this from the language of the text. Delo katani karpaf umabui. Why? Because it did not include, when it taught that, that of the empty space, the empty lot, or of the alleyway. Shmamina. Indeed, that's what we learned from this. Therefore, that brighter supports the view, the view, okay, of Rav explaining Rabbi Shimon that it was only under circumstances where they did not make an Eru. Now, another brighter, right? Tashma. Listen to the following bright. Okay, because this brighter also is going to come. All right. Chamesh chatserot haptuchot zolazo. We now have five courtyards. If you look at uh, 91B1, the diagram opposite the notes, uh, note 13 or 14. Okay, gives you that example of five courtyards, they're open one to the other. Likewise, each, each courtyard is open to the Rishus Harabi. Okay? Chamesh chatzirot haptuchot zolazo, uptuchot lamabui, and they're also open to the, it's not Rishus Harabi, it's open to the alleyway. V'shachachu kulam v'lo irvu, and they all forgot and did not make an Eru. And here we have to pick up that the language of Eruv here does not necessarily mean Eruv Eros, but a Mevuot. Okay? Asur lahachnis ulahotzi mechatser lamabui. It is forbidden, okay, to carry in or to bring out from a courtyard to a uh, to the alleyway, or from the alleyway into the courtyard. And we cancel that, uh, let's say, spent their Shabbos, were there in the courtyard before Shabbat and remained there. Mutar Those are permitted, I'm saying to carry around in the courtyard. asur, But in the alleyway, it's forbidden. Now, the Rabbi Shimon Matir. But Rabbi Shimon, on the other hand, permits it. Why? Shehaya Rabbi Shimon Omer, because Rabbi Shimon, okay, would say, 
So long as that there were multiple residents and they forgot and they did not make an Eru, Gag, the Chatser, the Achsadra, Umir Pesed, the Karpaf, Umabui, okay, that the roof and the courtyard and the portico and the porch or gallery and the empty lot and the alleyway. Kulan Rishut Echadim. They're all considered the same domain. Tama, why? What's the reason? The low Ervu. Because they did not join in each case in their own Eru. Ha Ervu. But if they had made an Eru, in other words, if any one of those five had made their own Eru, had made a shituf mabui, really. That's the point. Lo, that's not the case. So the Gemara asks, my lo irvu? What do you mean when we say they didn't make an irvu? Lo irvu chatserot bahade hadade. That they didn't join, right? Their courtyards one to another. Ha chatser ubatim irvu. But here, it's very clear that the house, the courtyard, and the houses within it did make an Eru. Vahalo Eru Katani. But here it says that they didn't make an Eru. My lo Eru. What do we mean then when we say that they didn't join together? That they did not join in a Shitu Maru. And if you want, <clears throat> right, I might prefer to say the following method. Rabbi Shimon Ledivrehem, the Rabbanan Ka'amalo. That Rabbi Shimon was responding to the sages according to their own view. Loshana Loshana Right? Rabbi Shimon says, to me, it makes no difference whether they did join or they didn't join. But rather, according to your view, okay? Acknowledge at least that in such a situation where they did not join, right, their own Eru, that they should all be a single domain. Okay. Rabbanan. And the rabbis responded to them, lo. Said no. Okay. Shte Rishuyotim. Namely, that the Mabui and the Karpaf are separate from the others. Those two are separate domains compared to the Gag and the, and the, and the, all the others, okay? Now, Amar Mar, let's come back and see what was said. Umar Bui, Ubima Bui Asur. Okay, we say then that in the courtyard. The only way. Right? Okay, is this the case? Right? That the Mabui is prohibited. Okay. Lema suggests the Gemara the following. Messiah le the Rav Zera Amar Rav. That this seems to be support to the statement of Rav Zera in the name of Rav. The Amar Rabbi Zera Amar Rav, which Rabbi Zera said specifically in the name of Rav. Mabui Shelo Nishtat Fubo. If you have a alleyway and they did not make a shituf mavuot there, ein metaltalim ela vedalid amus, that you cannot carry any more into that alleyway than for amus. Ema ulamavui asur. I might say then that therefore that into that courtyard, okay, it actually. Prohibits. 
right? That uh, it, right from carrying from the chatzir, right? High new ratio. But wait a second, says the command. Isn't that the same thing that we said at the outset, the beginning? Mishnah Yetera, it's the An additional statement, okay? Uh, is necessary here. Okay? This added statement is important to be included. Mahu detema. What then are you going to tell us? Ki plige rabbanan alei the rabbi shimon hani mili hecha de irbu. Why? Because it comes to tell us that when do, is it that the sages argue with rabbi shimon, okay, regarding the issue of when they made an error. But where they may not have made an error, that maybe the sages would acknowledge and agree with him, comes to teach us that's not the case, that the rabbis disagree with Rabbi Shimon, whether or not the people made an error. Now, We'll go up by just a little bit further. Amar le Ravina le Rav Ashi. Now see Ravina and Rav Ashi. Okay. Yes. Ravina raises a question to Rav Ashi. Okay. We're not going to go into it too long. Mi Amar Rabbi Yochanan Hachi. Did Rabbi Yochanan really say that? Baha Amar Rabbi Yochanan. Halacha Kistam Mishnah. But wasn't it Rabbi Yochanan who said that we follow the law according to a Stam Mishnah, which means like Rabbi Meir, right? Okay, and then goes on to cite the statement, Utnan, and we learned in an anonymous Mishnah, Kotel Shabain Shtei Chatzerot, a wall that's between two courtyards, Gavoa Asara V'rochav Arba'am, if it's 10 fachim high and 4 fachim wide, me'arvin shnayim, that the, each courtyard must make its own eru, okay? Ve'en me'arvin echad, and they cannot make a single one. Hayu b'rosho perot. And then if there were produce on the top of that wall, elu olin mikan v'ochlin, Oh, go up on top of the wall and eat. And the others in the other courtyard can go up on the top and eat. Okay, so long as they do not bring it down. What do we mean to bring it down? They bring it down to their homes, to the houses, to their houses, and that's where we're going to stop right there today. Okay, and that's where we'll pick up tomorrow. Okay, a little bit more in terms of that question. Okay? So everybody, stay dry, stay well. Okay, and take care. Right? Good day. Have a good day. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye bye. Hey, Ted. Yeah. A uh, quick question. I just got an email. They have a bat on the fourth floor in one of the buildings. Actually, I think it's in your, but anyway, who do you call today? I don't know if it's a lot. Is it number for animal control? Who? Animal control? I don't know if it's alive or dead. Uh, I, I, I think the uh, there's two things that go on. One, in some some time of the year, of the year when the bats are mating, you're not allowed to do anything. They <laughs> which is crazy. I remember that. Yeah, but yeah, I, I would get one of the uh, exterminator guys. Or, or is, is there, there is a bat guy, wait, wait. Just a second. You know what? I'm gonna call for a service.
the after hours number and let them decide what they want to do. Yeah, because a Angie had a Batman or something that they used to Yeah, but a Angie's not working today. You know, yeah. today is Sunday. Yeah. I got to find out. Well, let me find out if it's alive or dead, first of all. If it's dead, it's, uh, it's a moot question. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> if, if I find the name of one, I'll, I'll send it over to you. Thanks. Okay, Dale. Thanks. Okay. Good. Bye bye. <sighs> Special thing with bats, huh? Crazy. <laughs> 